Uh, I told my niece we couldn't go see Smurfs again, and then she like started warping space and time. Today, today we got something special. As I was recording, we got Memphis Mayfire just dropped another song featuring AJ Channer. Rainer, I don't know how to say his last name, but it's a dude from Fire from the Gods. He's got like that perfect voice, like that just the accent, like the Islander accent and tone. And then with his harsh vocals, like he just has so much emotion, you know. I guess you can feel his music, and usually it all has a purpose and it stands for something. There's a meaning, deeper meaning behind it, you know. Let's see what uh, Memphis Mayfire uses him for, but we got only human, so it sounds like it's supposed to be kind of a lesson for humanity. Hopefully, I'll we'll get our shit together, you know. But check it out. Memphis Mayfire's always got quality music though too, so. But with the addition, like, they could do a lot. It's already that bouncy vibe. I mean, that's what this guy provides, like. Oh, fuck yeah. Head still hurts. Listen to those lyrics. Exactly what I was saying. Like, listen to the lyrics of the song, and it's it's definitely got a message. You know, it's like you can only do all you can, and at the end, we're all we're only human. You know, it goes deeper, but oh yeah, the world needs to hear this. I am what I am, man. Ain't no changing it. Embrace it. Once I stop caring about that, I want to go up from there. Yeah, nobody's fucking perfect, man. Building. That's fucking awesome. Oh, heavy is the hand that wears the false crown. Eating hair. The joys of having long hair again. ability to slowly build the vocals is the control he has to slowly build his vocals is epic man time and time again oh hold on we ain't done I get a jump scare I can shit myself right at the end I just didn't cut the video soon enough I don't know I don't have to click out of anything nowadays though okay all right we'll start with AJ on this one he had really good vocals he uh there's a lot of the fast punchy stuff like he kind of has a little bouncy vibe a little bit, but the song just got to business, you know, but it was, I think it was more the message behind the song and why he's, he's a good person to have on. It was a good song for him to be on. In a way, it's kind of like his song, Excuse Me, by Fire From The Gods, you know, where it's talking about how we need change, you know. 
promoting change and like the whole this whole premise of the song is about not being so self-centered and worried about themselves and hypocritical you know like it doesn't matter what anybody thinks of you if you're happy in your own skin like fuck them you know be your best self and just do right by others you know you don't gotta do what the hell they want you to do like that's for you to decide that's your your person you know do you be happy don't worry about anybody else well they get nobody gives a shit anyway so you might as well do it being happy right but i love the story behind the song and then going back to our regular boy here that was just a good song around that was a smasher though like i came on hard too it's good driving riffs like it was it's another banger on their end you know i mean what more do you say like just it's always quality music and it's just like their little features and stuff that different things they do to make the songs different you know they really really make it come into its own if they got the structure figured out it just i don't know i'd like to see a little bit more diversity from them though just what they're making is great it's just but it's just like they're in their comfort zone you know like to just see something i'm like wow like just take me for a journey to infinity and beyond but that was a good song i like the feature i love the message of the song like hopefully the world gets with it because what they're what they're speaking is the truth man once more people learn that like we'll all be in a better place so till next time the sarah kink out <laughs>